So what is earnest money and what is option money whenever you place an offer on a property? What's up everybody? My name is Robert Alexia. I'm with Smart Group Realtors and in this video, I'm gonna try to simplify it as best as I can for you guys so it could be as clear as day. So uh, earnest money is usually 1% of the sales price. So if we're talking about a $100,000 house, um, you're gonna place a thousand dollars down as the earnest money that's not actually your down payment so your down payment it depends on the lender depends what you're approved for so if you're doing three percent down that thousand dollar um, earnest money that you're placing is just a small portion of that down payment if that makes sense so um, this is basically like skin in the game. It's also called a good faith deposit, letting the sellers know you are serious about the property uh, on the offer you're placing. So um, there's another portion that's also important. It's called the option money, uh, option period, because that's the, the, the place in the contract where you have the option to back out. If for whatever reason, the inspection report comes back and it's, and it's like horrendous, it's terrible. You don't want to deal with it. You just want to back out. That's what it's for. So I usually recommend buyers um, around 10 days. Uh, each day costs about, about $10 a day. So if you're dealing with 10 days at $10, that's 100 bucks. So with that said, um, you have $1,000 for earnest money, you have 100 bucks for earnest money, and those two at closing table will be credited for the sale of the property. So whatever is left over of that down payment that will be attached with the earnest and option money so that will be credited um say for instance on day five of the option period you 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 look at me and you're like robert here's the thing uh the sellers are not willing to do items a b and c if they would have done at least a and b okay great we'll move forward but they're not doing anything they're not even lifting a fin finger about it hey man let's back out you have that option to do so which is awesome that they allow that in the contract the only thing is, the only money that you will lose is that uh, inspection fee uh, where you hire in the inspector to go out there and check out the property and that option fee of 100 bucks. The cool thing about it is that if you back out within that amount of time that you 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 took account for that 10 days, then you get that earnest money of $1,000 refunded back to you. So I hope this information is helpful. Do not be scared about the the, the, the transactional process whenever you're placing an, uh, an offer on a property because that's why uh, we're here. That's why there's a realtor involved, that's why there's a lender involved, and that's why there's title company involved because we're here to give you direction and give you guidance on how to take you from point A to point B to point C and all the way to home. So uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys found it uh, valuable, please go ahead and uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, be on the lookout for future videos. Thanks, thanks so much, guys, for watching.